Here I'm going to show you how to hide your macros from the user because the last thing that you want is Dwight to be playing around with your spreadsheet that you spent two months building and then running macros randomly to see what happens and permanently deleting data. So let's keep Dwight away from our macros. And if you don't know, when you have a macro in a workbook, all you have to do to view them is hit Alt F8. And you're going to get a listing of the macros. You click one, you hit run, and it runs the macro. And as your project becomes larger, you may have macro A that should call macro B that should call macro C. And they must be run in that order or bad things happen. And at this point, you may be saying, hey, my coworkers will never learn the Alt F8 keyboard shortcut, and they will never have a developer tab since you have to add it, and then have the macros button where they can view all of the macros. But it seems like a lot of people don't realize that the view tab has a macros button on it. So it's very easy for anyone to get a listing of the macros in the workbook and then run them. But of course, they can also just right click any shape and go to assign a macro get the macros, click one, hit OK, and then run it from a button. So let us fix this problem right now. Hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window. And the basic premise of this is that you want at least one module that's going to be for the back end, where all of the macros here should not be seen by the user. These macros will be called by other macros. So we will have macro A run these macros. And to hide these macros, all you do is go to the top of the module and type option private module. That is it. We go back here, hit Alt F8. The macros are gone. Now, if you've already assigned them to a button, they can still be run. So it's not like they are permanently disabled or anything like that but it makes it a lot harder for the user to find your macros. And if you combine this with password protecting your project, they're not going to be able to get in here and then click inside of a macro and run the macro. And I'll show you how to password protect it at the end of this tutorial. But the next question is, how do I run these macros? Because usually I want a macro to run from some sort of user interaction, maybe a button click in the spreadsheet. And how we do that is to create another module that's going to be our public facing module. So go to insert module and let's rename this guy. So click it and go to the properties window. And how about we call it interface and you can make some really cool things here. What I'm showing you is just a baby, baby version of this. But what we want to do here is just have a macro and call it click. I do like to do that because it's going to be a macro that we want to run based off of a click on something. So click and I'm just going to say run me. And now we reference one of the other macros. And a very easy way to do that I recommend if you're just starting out is type call and then the other macro. And I forgot the name so I'm going to hit control space. And let's type, this is a little trick, not part of this tutorial, but type the name of the other module, which is backend, tab, and then period, and you get a listing of the macros. So let's run hi there. And now that I have the macro that I wanted to reference, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I only did that because I just forgot the name of the macro, by the way. And the alternative way to run this macro is just type it out, H-I-T-H-E-R-E. -E. You don't have to have call in front of it. But like I said, I think that's a little bit easier when you're starting out. So now let us go back to the spreadsheet and hit Alt F8. And here is our click run me macro. So the click in front of it tells me, hey, I know that I want this to be public facing. So everything is good. I didn't make a mistake. Now I'm going to run this macro and it will run the macro that I want to be run, which is hidden from the user currently. And that's how we get Oh, hi there. And of course, we can now assign that one to a button as well. Right click, assign macro, and click run me. OK. And there we go. And that is all there is to it. But, 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 if you really want to keep your macros protected, go to your project over here and right click your project and go to VBA Project Properties. It's a little bit off the screen right now, but click that. And VBA Project Properties, go to Protection, Lock Project for Viewing, check that. And input a password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Never use that as your password, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
OK. And now save the workbook, close it, and then reopen it. And this over here will look like this. And in order to open it and view the code, so click the plus sign, you're actually going to have to input the password. So a user who doesn't know the password is not going to be able to view your project. And that is how you can hide your macros from the user. And just in case you're wondering, option explicit, that just means that we have to declare all the variables that we use here. But that's not required for this tutorial. So everything I showed you here will work just as well without it. It is usually a good idea to have it there to avoid errors, but it will work just fine like that as well. So option private module. In the modules, you want to put it in every single module that you want to be private. So where you want to hide the macros, put it at the top of every one of them. And then just make sure that you have one for the interface so that it can be accessed very easily from button clicks and the worksheet.